they can spook you more than wildlife. Big wildlife. Uh, well, I'm back and I, I've got to face the sun here. So I'll walk back this way. So I took August as a little hiatus. It's my, my big group camp and a lot of uh, smaller groups coming in to train all through August. So I knew um, I might have time to, to film, but I wouldn't have time to edit. So I just decided I'm not gonna, I'm gonna take a little break from YouTube during August and, and I'm back. It's the first week of, first week of September and it's, it's an amazing day. This is when we get blue skies, mid 70s. There's no more smoke. We had smoke a couple weeks ago from California fires, but it's just it's just primo right now. So I've been gone, but been thinking a lot about YouTube and have kind of my next phase of my mission going into place in a little bit. So I'm excited about that and gonna talk to you a little bit about that. But today's message is gonna be about two important key components for those who maybe are starting to look to run. I know you know somebody that's out there who maybe have always wanted to start running and this is for them. Or, hey, this can apply to anybody as well. Just, just like most anything with running and training, it's, there's always a purpose for anybody. But this is really directed towards the message for those runners who are looking to start running. Maybe they've dabbled a little bit. Maybe they've got frustrated a little bit. But this is two key components that's just going to let your running take take hold and take off. So we're gonna talk about that. But first, as always, shoes. I have on the Innovate Terra Ultra 270s and be sure you see my last video that I did on these full review of these shoes. They're amazing shoes, so check that out. Won't say much more than that. Just go check that full, full length video out on my review of the amazing shoes. So we're gonna carry on and we're gonna dive into the message for today. All right, ah, nice to sweat. Ah. It's supposed to snow next week though. I'm going to sit right here. All right, so what happens when a runner starts to run for the first time? Is that they're probably pretty inefficient. Their cardiovascular system's not very good for running. And usually any type of run, just running is, is pretty challenging cardiovascularly and for the structural system. So we want to eliminate that as much as possible by how we strike the ground and how we use our foot when we strike the ground. That sets the table, that sets the foundation for everything running. And since this runner is just starting to run, this is the best time to work on it. But like I mentioned earlier, wait, we all can work on this. I'm always working on it. So this is something that we can always embrace the point being, when runners are starting for the first time, they have a blank slate, clean slate. And their limiter is their cardiovascular system and their structural system. So we can, we can start building all of that at the same time and really, really take time to work on our foot strike when maybe if we're a veteran runner, that's much harder to change because we've been doing something for a really, really long time. Whereas again, this beginning runner has not been doing anything as far as running goes, and now is the perfect time. So I'm gonna put the camera down and just give you a quick demonstration on what to focus on as you're first starting to run. So if I would have you just stand and jump up and down, almost like you're skipping rope. Okay, usually, I don't have to coach anybody how to do that well. Everybody can do this, okay? I didn't have to coach you, didn't have to say anything. You naturally go to what I call a four foot to heel strike. Four foot to heel, see that? Landing, it's a very subtle four foot to heel strike. Just like jumping rope, okay? I wouldn't have you or we intuitively wouldn't jump like this. You can hear it versus nice and soft, okay? 
Nice four foot to heel. Now, if we take that to running in place, same thing. You're not landing like this. I don't have to coach you on how to do that. But why do I have to coach a lot of people on how to strike the ground when they start going forward? Okay, we wanna be here. So if I start running in place and then just slowly run forward nice and easy, my foot strike's gonna be ideal. It's gonna be underneath me and I'm gonna have that four foot to heel strike that's very subtle, okay? This sets the foundation for strength for everything from the structural system. We're only as good as how we use our feet. Dictates how we use our legs, how we stabilize the knee, how we stabilize at the glute. We often hear how important the glute is. Well, those clam exercises aren't gonna work, okay? It's how we use our feet. So what we wanna do is just practice that, okay? Practice jumping up and down. I have tons of drills. Hey, what's up? And so look at the drills. That'll help you, but when you're first starting out, just practice jumping up and down in place to get the feel for the foot strike, and then run in place, and then as you're running in place, slowly move your body forward naturally. And maybe you do one minute on, one minute off, um, and start maybe with five minutes, 10 minutes, and slowly progress each run. So you're keeping it nice and easy, and you're doing what you need to, to keep your forefoot strike really, really good. Don't practice something wrong. And through time, you'll just be able to go longer and longer. Okay? So practice, practice, practice. This is the foundation. It's so, so important for your experience with running. Number two, okay? This is more of the emotional, psychological side of beginning to run. We want to run for knowledge. We want to run with a big purpose a bigger purpose than any day-to-day -day, um, purpose we might have for our running. You know, I tell people, you know, self-discipline is the greatest performance enhancer. And if we have a greater purpose, run for knowledge. What I mean by run for knowledge, have awareness. Because all you runners out there know, okay? And this is a message for those who want to start running, but maybe have never given it an opportunity. If we, our biggest purpose of running is running for knowledge, we're gonna understand of how it makes us feel day to day, how good it feels to be done, how good it feels to have the self-discipline to go out for a run maybe when you don't feel like it. But no runner's ever gone out and wish they hadn't. It's usually the other way around. It's like they wish they had when they hadn't, okay? So learning to run for knowledge, and again, that knowledge word is what you start to learn about yourself. Yes, we must race, yes, we, have big goals as far as maybe picking a big marathon or whatever that important goal is. But above that, we're learning about ourselves. And that's what feeds us day to day. That's what keeps us going because we love that feeling of learning about ourselves. And that translates to our whole life throughout the day. It translates to work. It translates to family. It translates to our job and maybe what we want to do with our career. It gives us confidence to maybe put ourselves out there and change careers or do something that we're really, really passionate about. So instead of thinking running is fitness or to work really hard, to lose weight, to race, all those are byproducts of learning and running for knowledge about yourself and learning the type of person you are because it's running starts to peel back layers, just like an onion. And as we peel back those layers, we start feeling better about ourselves. We start learning more about ourselves. We have more confidence. We have more self-discipline. We have more self-knowledge in what and how we wanna live our life. So that should be the overriding purpose to your running. Take away, like I said, the weight, the weight loss. It has to be a workout. It has to be for fitness and health. Take away all that and go out and learn to run for knowledge and how it makes you feel, all right? So that's the two keys. If you focus on that, everything else will fall into place, all right? I'm glad to be back. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm on to the next mission with my Cool Impossible. 
and with YouTube. And most of you who have read my book, The Cool Impossible, know my mission is one runner per household and to really enhance and to unify the world through enhancing the running experience. And I'm gonna start putting more messages out there for people who wanna start running. We all know people who wanna start running that thinks it's bad for us, or they don't know how to do it, or they think it's gonna hurt, it's gonna be uncomfortable. I'm gonna start putting more and more messages out there like this that I hope to encourage you to be the courier of this message and to pass it along to them. So let this be the message. We're all just carriers of the message. Pass this along to someone you know who might, you might think want to start running and give them little tidbits to help them. Sometimes it's better to have it come from another source where again, you're just the courier, okay? So let's all be couriers and create more runners in this world, okay? Make a better world, let's go. All right, I'm out of here, headed down the hill. And peace, everybody. Start loving each other, let's go.